the time chamber. The time chamber. The monster cell, Dr. Giraud's <laughs> ultimate creation, has but a single goal. Only through the absorption of Android 17 and 18 can Cell become complete and achieve his perfect goal. And now, the monster is one step closer to achieving that goal. Piccolo aside, Damn. Android 17, unable to listen, the Android is absorbed, and Cell's body begins its shocking transformation. Before Cell can set his sights on Android 18 and complete his transformation, the end bursts onto the scene. Yeah! Holding every ounce of his strength, he holds the monster at bay with his powerful flying giving Android 18 a chance to escape. Meanwhile, Trunks and Vegeta are hard at work within the hyperbolic time chamber, a special room in Kami's lookout in which a fighter can gain a year's worth of training in just one day. Wow, so if you train it every uh, damn, you just can be strong. If you train every day in that. I I know I will. Every day. Train in the high block time chamber, complete more combination moves than your opponent. Alright. We're gonna fight Vegeta now. Yeah, what the hell? Why, why, why? Eh, give me that. Okay. B, B, B. <laughs> That's so simple. Got that. Have Vegeta's health is small compared to mine. Alright. Got this. Easy. Woo! Eat that. I need two more stars. Break the combo! Damn, he wasn't breaking, he wasn't, um, breaking... Shit. Please. Damn it, combo breaker. Yeah! I win. Goku suddenly appears on the scene. Using his instant transmission technique, he transports Tien and Piccolo back to the lookout for a quick recovery. At the same time, their years worth of training completed. Trunks and Vegeta emerge from the hyperbolic time chamber, more powerful Dang, Trunks looks beast now. I don't know. His hair looks alright. The time chamber, Trunks. That means defeat is zero. I just destroyed zero. Melee ratio, 100%. <laughs> yes, I want to see in my game. So next time, this has been my shortest episode.